Welcome back, crawlers, to another episode of the Minecraft Circuit Board. And today, we are going to be talking about the SAO Circuit. Alright guys, if you're familiar with my channel, then you guys probably already know about the SAO circuit, uh, which has been, I would say, recently discovered by me, but it actually has not. Um, I just went back and looked through a bunch of the comments and the videos. Someone posted a link to a video where someone had the design actually a couple months ago, three, four months ago. So, uh, all credit has to go to that guy he was the first person to discover it and that was diver we and I'll have a link down in the description so you guys can check that out now I know you guys have probably already seen how all this works but I'm gonna go ahead and go over with it in this series just so that it's uh, you know ran through in this uh, in in the playlist for the uh, circuit board series all right, guys, so here it is, the SA equals O circuit. Uh, speaking of which, even though he had a video up on the circuit, it was never given a name or anything. So we'll just keep the name SA equals O. Uh, side activated equals output. That's the name. Uh, and basically, guys, how it works is the side that you click uh, or the activate, the button that you press, is what's going to activate um, the proper pistons uh, to activate the, the redstone lamp you can see if I use this one and I, I, I could be standing over here still and press another one on that side and it'll still work on that side so it doesn't matter where you're standing all right guys now we're gonna quickly talk about how this works um, it, it is quite simple and familiar it works similar to how a bud works uh, if I were to press this button uh, it, it's going to power that piston underneath the green block uh, now normally uh, that's all it would do I press this button that piston shoots down now because this button is actually powering the block that in which it resides uh, it is uh, subsequently powering this piston down here without that piston pushing down uh, this piston will not get an update because it is two blocks away normally uh, nothing would happen. See if I take that out, I press that, we're, we're, we're getting nothing here. But because we have a piston, which does not need to be sticky, uh, pushing down, it is causing an update to this piston, and that, that will make it move, because we have power two blocks away uh, being powered. So, it's, it's fairly simple how it works. Um, and that, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That's that's the simple basic mechanic of the SAO circuit. And it just depends on what side you're pressing. It's a really ingenious circuit. Uh, now, so that is the the, the standard one, uh, SAO. Uh, this is the SA, I just noticed there's a dash and not an equal sign. I'll have to fix that. Fix that. Um, SAO, SAO flop, it's a toggled output. Um, which means that uh, instead of it pulsing same length as the the piston or the button pulse uh, it will uh, toggle so if I flip this it'll turn on indefinitely until I press it again and there you go uh, so uh, this works by running some wire when this pushes down uh, it will have this power traveling through uh, to activate this uh, T flip flop. This T flip flop is a one, two, three, four, five, six block T flip flop, not counting the block when it gets when it gets set right there. So if I click that, it'll turn it on. Click that, it'll turn it off. Uh, now the way to get the power running to this block is this little piece of redstone right here um, you can't use certain uh, objects to to power this so it, it was actually quite difficult um, you can't just throw a piece of red uh, redstone dust or redstone uh, oh my god brain farting today a redstone torch right there that won't work you guys notice that that will push up but then it'll never retract are you kidding me the oh it's not powered. 
let's go ahead and turn that back on uh, okay I was like there's no way okay so but when I do this it will not retract it's 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 a bug I just noticed a burnout that's not good um, so yeah that why did that burn out oh that's why I'm a derp sorry guys uh, <laughs> So now it'll probably retract. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, so it won't retract because this redstone is basically powering this piston right here. So it's, it's yeah, not working. Uh, so you just had to be I had to be a little creative about it and, and do it this way, and it, it works out fine. Um, that's one of the main reasons why you can't use this T flip-flop in an array. Otherwise, this would be the perfect T flip-flop. Uh, okay, guys, so... Moving on, again, just to show you guys that that works on all outputs. Bam. All right, let me go ahead and fix those up. Uh, now, next is the SAO array. Uh, if you guys don't know what an array is, basically, it's what I had stated it was way over there. <laughs> uh, no, an array is just uh, basically a line of whatever circuit it is uh, in a compact manner. I'm sure Nodvik will throw up a... Uh, a comment on there stating what the exact term of an array is. He does it every time I say it. <laughs> I still can't remember that exact phrasing. Anyways, guys, uh, so this is an array. Uh, so if I were to press this one, it'll turn that power on. And uh, if I turn this one on, it will reset that one and then set this one. So, so it does have a reset for each one. And I can come over here, press one on that side. And there you, there you have it. doesn't matter which one I press. They will all reset. And they will all go to the proper ones. My birds are going off. Sorry about that. And we have a reset on the end here. So we press that one and that resets it. Uh, awesome, awesome, guys. Okay, so normally I don't go over all the mechanics of all the circuits. But these ones are really intriguing. So I'm just going to show, show you guys really quick how this works. Um, Okay, so when you press one of these, it works the similar as uh, pretty much all of these. It's just what it does after you've powered that particular area. Uh, so you press this one down, it pushes this down. Uh, I got a torch here, so when this presses down, two things happen. Uh, one, this line of redstone gets powered. And two, whichever one you press, uh, the corresponding redstone repeater will get powered. Uh, when the red when the repeater gets powered, it pushes up one of these uh, pistons with a sticky uh, a sticky piston with a block on it. Uh, when that gets pushed up and these are powered, uh, when they touch the block, these sticky pistons will stay up, um, and they just they stick. They just stay up. So let's go ahead and show you guys that. So you can see that when this turns this on, this is not retracting. This piston is not retracting. Um, it's been known for a while that pistons do this, and a lot of people use this in circuits because it's, uh, you know, quite convenient. Alright, so, um, now, what, uh, it gets reset by pressing any other button. If you were to press the same one, it will turn off and then turn right back on. Because we need it to reset first. Uh, notice that this piston doesn't drop, but this power turns off. Uh, this power turns off so that it resets any other ones that uh, have not been selected uh, or ha that have been selected. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then we can hit the reset over here. Uh, this reset line, there it goes, goes into here and it'll turn it off and it'll reset all of them. Once the power gets turned off on that block, uh, it'll turn the power off on the piston. See? And it's done. Alright guys, that is it. Uh, please guys leave a like for these videos um and you know naturally i'll keep continuing this series i get a good amount of people viewing these and i like doing them so uh would really appreciate the like and the favorites and the comments and all that please leave comments i i try to get back to everybody um and that's it all right guys thanks a lot for watching really appreciate it as always keep crawling and peace out Now, if you guys remember the last video,